Hi, my name is Hector, and I like to hike and explore in and around the area of Santa Cruz. And if that interests you, why don't you follow me, join me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and come and join us on our adventure. So today we're exploring the land of the Medicine Buddha. Go back down to the car. I'll wait for you. You want to head back down to the car with me? What for? To get my hat? Here. No, you, you keep your hat. Oh, look at this. Yeah. It's, yeah. Gold. it's golden. So here we are in the SoCal Mountains. Um, we're at the land of the Medicine Buddha off Main Street in SoCal. And we're, what was our elevation again today, Ralphie? 961 feet. 961 feet. So yeah, I think we've already pressed that. And now we're just walking through these beautiful trails um, this is more kind of like a fire road so far relatively easy very calm and serene out here very peaceful quiet kind of like it when someone whom I have benefited and in whom I have great hopes gives me terrible harm I shall regard that person as my holy guru When out of envy, others mistreat me with abuse, insults, or the like, I, I shall accept defeat and offer the victory to others. Okay, so here we are on the trail. Um, 
I recommend wearing pants. The direction in which we came has been pretty much uphill and we're going through a lot of uh, the trail seems just a bit overgrown nothing major but I came in shorts I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some poison oak or ivy <laughs> the price you pay um, but had I wore pants or something I wouldn't have ran into this so something you should think about So how does walking in the woods make you feel? Do you feel energized? Enlightened? Scared? Like the boogeyman's gonna come get you? Sasquatch? The werewolf? <laughs> no, but seriously, I'd really like to know. So hit me up in the comments, tell me uh, what you like and dislike about hiking in the woods. For me, walking in the woods is just pure joy. Like, you know, always amazes me of how life happens. And it's always quiet and peaceful. I always have time to think about things, center myself. Gotten to the point where I was about to axe murder a couple people which was not a good thing. I didn't do it. I'm not in jail. And that's a good thing. See? So to further explain what I mean, today, for instance, woke up, beautiful sunny day, went and helped my niece, uh, air up her tire. Upon doing so, noticed that someone had stolen my bike. And that kind of flipped me out. There's a, a car on the side of the road too, had bashed in the window. Thankfully that wasn't my car, but I did lose my bike. It made me kind of depressed, kind of unhappy. Um, but you know, coming out for the hike has really changed the, the outlook on that. You know, if somebody needed the bike, they needed the bike. <clears throat> oh, you'll come back to me somehow. I ain't worried about it. Anyways, those are the things that happen. But like I said, being out here, you know, it just kind of reminds me of, you know, what life is really about. And it's about, for me anyways, it's about finding that inner peace, trying to live life with joy and happiness at every moment. So trying to figure out how to shake those uh, depression moods, you know, that's, that's, that's the challenging part of life, at least for me. But, you know, we live one day at a time, try to experience things. As uh, hopefully and honestly as we can, digest them, interpret them, most importantly, learn from them. You know, there's obviously things I could have been done different to make sure that my bike didn't get stolen. And, you know, I got to own up to those things. You know, you put something in front of somebody and they're going to take it. You know, I accept my responsibility in that. And again, it's, you know, like walking through these mountains that makes one, you know, come to those kind of thoughts. You know, like learning to accept it, not wishing ill on somebody else, but, you know, somebody that was, uh, that is less fortunate than me, not knowing that they harm me.
So it seems to me that we made it down by the creek. So we're way up in the mountains. Now we made it down to the creek. Um, it's a lot cooler down here. A lot more animal life as well. Birds, really. A couple of insects, things like that. Um, still got to traverse fallen trees. Yeah, this is a very nice hike though. It's got a lot of up and downs on the hills been fun a lot of nice things to see awesome place to be Okay, Tracker Ralph, tell us what you think so far. We've been on this for, what, roughly five miles now? Yeah, uh, this trail is relatively uh, easy at first, but it, it's got a good ups and downs, pretty hard. I'm sweating, I'm, I'm moving, I'm getting I'm getting ready to have a good dinner tonight because, you know, how much the amount of sweat I, I, I did on this trail, it's, it's no joke, it's a workout, but I, I'd say it's easy too, you know. Uh, uh, it's pretty manageable is what I would say it's not not too hard but it I gotta sweat <laughs> That's our car. Hey, we're just coming in. Huh. 